Zoe, Zoe, the camera's the other way around. Oh, hello. Happy New Year and welcome to Hope Kids Online. Today, we're going to think about maybe New Year's resolutions or what you want to take in to 2021. We're going to think about a story that is all about how Jesus loves children. And my heart and my prayer for you this year is that you will know how much Jesus loves you. Do you want to stand on your feet? Let's start our new year and today by worshipping God. Let's go. Hey! Ho! Hey! Ho! Nothing too big, big, big for his power. Nothing too little, little for his care. Nothing too today, the parents that had young children found it difficult to get them to see Jesus. And Jesus' disciples were saying, no, 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 no. But Jesus said, let all the little children come to me. Check this out. The little children ran to Jesus and gathered round him. Jesus was always happy to be with them and talk to them. Jesus' friends were angry with the children and started to send them away. But Jesus said, Don't stop the children from coming to me. I want them with me. Because they understand what it means to be my friend. They know what it is to trust me. If you don't trust me like a little child, you can't be my friend. Then he lifted the children and told them good things about God. It's now 
time for uh, more than a game. And we've been thinking about the story this morning where Jesus welcomed little children to him. And we're going to play a game that you've played many times before, I'm sure, an adapted version of Pin the Tail on the Donkey. But instead, here I have a picture of Jesus and Luke is holding in his hand a child. And he's going to have a go at attaching the child to the feet of Jesus, a position that people used to take to listen to every word that Jesus had to say. With this game though, the challenge is that Luke cannot see the picture of Jesus that we can see. So let's have a go and see where Luke attaches the child. Okay, right, here we go then. Here we go, here we go. Oh, it's gone for there. Reveal Luke, here you go. Take your blindfold off. We can see at home that Luke has managed to attach the child to... Upside down to his shoulder. <laughs> Jesus' shoulder. Have a go at playing this game at home today. You can draw a picture of Jesus, draw a picture of a child, and have a go and see how you get on. It's now time for a craft challenge and we've been thinking today about how Jesus loves children. That's been a story that we've looked at and that's been a kind of New Year theme. Now in today's workbook, look, the craft suggestion or the cooking suggestion is for you to have a go at making some gingerbread men. And there's a recipe in there that you can follow. I've cheated a little bit and bought gingerbread men to decorate. So I'm going to have a go now. So I've got some icing, I've got some people made out of gingerbread and I've also got some sweets to add for the eyes but you can have a go at making something yourself or if you don't want to do cooking today you could um, cut out some people or you could do some drawings of children and sort of have a go at colouring them in but anything to help you think about the story that the fact that Jesus welcomed little children to him how Jesus said to his disciples let them come to me, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. That's an amazing story and a helpful thing for us to think about at the start of this new year, that Jesus loves to spend time with us. So I'm having a go at making a white chocolate t-shirt. Smells amazing. My person's got the biggest eyes and I'm going to have a go at making some chocolate arms. I think this is the oddest looking child I've ever made. Whatever you get up to, just be creative today in thinking through the story and let us know by sending a photo to the Families at Hope Facebook page and see if your child will look anything like mine. I wonder if you've ever been told that you can't go and speak to somebody, or you can't bother them. Maybe it was because they were busy doing something, or because maybe they felt like what you wanted to say wasn't important enough to stop them in what they were doing. Well, in our story today, we come across this group of children and they really want to go and meet Jesus. I mean, who wouldn't want to? But his disciples, well, they get all shirty and they get themselves in a place they're thinking that children can't go anywhere near Jesus. He's far too important. He's not going to be interested. You just need to stay over there and do children things. But Jesus, he stops his disciples in the middle of the street in front of everyone and says, no, 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 no. Let the little children come to me because you know what? My kingdom, God's kingdom, is for people like them. And you know what? He was right. Jesus is after people, not who are big and important and know lots of stuff, but for people who just want to spend time with him and just be with him and know him better. That's what Jesus was loving about these children. They didn't come wanting to prove anything or to be something. He just wants them to come to him and share who they were. That's one of the awesome things about Jesus. And that's why he invites all of us to come to him, just like little children. In our memory verse today, is exactly what Jesus said to his disciples. Sign along with me. It was, let 
the little children, come to me. Don't stop them. The kingdom of God belongs to them. Mark chapter 10, verse 14. Let's do that again. Are you ready? Let the little children come to me. Don't stop them. The kingdom of God belongs to them. Mark chapter 10, verse 14. One last time. Here we go. Let the little children come to me. Don't stop them. The kingdom of God belongs to them. Mark chapter 10, verse 14. It's now time for a creative prayer activity where we're going to pray and thank Jesus for the story and everything we've learned this morning. So again, in the Jesus Loves Me workbook, we're going to have a go at doing one of the suggested activities. And this is called Jesus Loves Me. And what you're going to need is um, some different shaped hearts. So I've already started to cut out four different shapes. And what you need to try and do is mix up the colours and cut out a heart if you can and make each heart a different size. So I've got the biggest one here and then I'm going to start by sticking them all together and gradually we get smaller and smaller and smaller so they arrange together like that. So we're going to go for some, some glue. So you might need to find a template to draw around or we'll just have a go at cutting out some different heart shapes and sticking them together. And then we're going to use this to help us pray to God and to remember the Bible story we've heard this morning. So keep sticking them all together and you'll end up with something that looks like this and I'm going to write in the middle Jesus loves me. And it suggests that we have a think about some of the things that we do in the week and think that, oh, Jesus loves me when I'm at school, or Jesus loves me when I'm at home, or Jesus even loves me when I do things wrong. But we're also gonna pray that we would know Jesus' love this year, and also our friends and our family would too. So whoever you wanna write to pray for, you can do so around the edges, but I'm gonna pray for us now as we think about our story. Father God, thank you for your love for us. Thank you that in the story today, Jesus makes it so clear that he loves all of us, that he loves children and that the kingdom of God belongs to them. So we pray in this new year that we would know your love for us. And we pray now for the people in our lives, as well as the things that we do, that we would know and that they would know your love for them. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we've been thinking about the story where Jesus welcomed children to him. And as I said at the beginning, at the start of this new year, this is my prayer for us, that you would know and grow in the knowledge of the love that Jesus has for you this year. Have a go at thinking through the story, have a go at learning the memory verse, have a go at decorating or making gingerbread men, have a go at that Jesus loves me prayer activity, or even play the game. Whatever you do today, just think through and acknowledge again at the start of this new year how much Jesus loves you. But now we're going to worship God again. Let's go. Straight. 
tremendous to your design You gave me purpose, so I give my life I'm giving you all of me Out of the darkness 